Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. I'm gonna go out uh, with a very special guest today to the local stores in and around town. You know, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, stuff like that to see what kind of new releases uh, hit the shelves today. Because I know about a handful of them uh, that are being released today. One of which uh, is Game Night here on Blu-ray, which I'll be talking about at the end of this video for the review portion of it. And a couple of awesome awesome classic films are hitting 4k today uh one of which is a box set and that is Ju the jurassic park uh movies on 4k in one big box set that's pretty cool along with bam the matrix hitting 4k for the very first time this is probably one of my favorite action films uh, of all time i'll be talking about this uh 4k release at the end of this video also and some of the other stuff uh that that are hitting uh, 4k today is you know Fury and uh, the Patriot here on a uh, 4K, which uh, you know I'll be talking about too. But guys, let's get on out of here, head on out to the stores, meet up the special guest, and see what kind of fun stuff we can get into. All right, guys, at my first destination of the day, Best Buy, baby. But I am not alone. This guy right here is still around. I thought he got abducted by aliens or something. Got taken up I into wish. space and just probed and stuff and then he got sent back down and now he's here i'm back what, what what what's up man i don't know man where are we we're at best buy we're nerds oh okay okay yeah you, you remember best buy Be best buy best 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 buy yeah but we're in best buy right now guys looking at the new releases uh we still got black panther on top we got uh 1517 paris uh, that came out today. Was this never in theaters? I don't remember that. Or early Man? Yeah. I don't know, but isn't that the Wallace and Gromit people? Yeah, that's them. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. This is another one uh, that came out today. I remember watching Wallace and Gromit. It's a pretty big cast, too. Eddie Redman. And yeah, pretty cool. And this one right here I'll be talking about at the end of the video. I watched it last night, uh, game night. I I don't know. I, I, I like the cast of this one, but I'll let you guys know. But ah, ah. And there's only two left, Andrew. There's only two left of the Jurassic oh Park God. 4K limited edition. But you said Target may have a different exclusive though, huh? That's the rumor. That's the rumor. I guess we'll find that out in a little bit, but... <sighs> Why is it fucking image so like... What? Insulated? Oh, the image? I don't know. To me it just looks like really bad quality. Yeah, a little... Yeah. Like if you guys get it, like it doesn't... I don't know. It, it, may, make him up look, it may look better on uh, video here, but yeah, up close. I don't know. And now we're in the movie section itself in the back of Best Buy. And here's two of the other titles that came out today that uh, got debuted on a 4K, which is cool. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, the, what, the Patriot one or yeah, Fury? I remember seeing that like when I was in 8th grade when I was in theaters, dude. Yeah. I love that movie. And look what they have here, too. The I was talking to the guy that runs the section over here. And this one was like a hard-to-find out-of-print one at one time. I guess it's back in print, Tombstone. Oh, yeah. Well, because I saw this on that Disney movie club. Yeah. People don't know it. That's a Disney movie. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But this is one my dad always used to watch all the time. And one of the other ones that uh, yeah, came out today was this Serenity on, uh, on 4K Steelbook. I, re I remember liking this one uh, when I first saw it back in the day. Isn't that... It's part of Fire, Firefly, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. But the Steelbook is kind of... I don't know. They could have done a little bit more with that. Like yeah, the cover? I don't know. Would have, at the very least, it would have been cool to emboss that. Or something, yeah. yeah. We just got out of Best Buy. Uh, we didn't get anything in there. That Jurassic Park thing is cool. But he keeps telling me that there's something at Target with a better cover, which we may get up on. Maybe. Don't know. All right, the next location of the day. You guys can tell by the redness. We're at Target, baby. Let's go see the Target exclusive of Jurassic Park. Well, guys, we've been walking around the store trying to find the Jurassic Park ones, and they're been kind of hard to find. But. And we had to ask a lady to bring one from the back and everything. This one has a definitely a cooler cover than uh, the, you know, the Best Buy one. Here, press the button on the side, dude. Check this out. Wait, hold on. <laughs> How cool is that, dude? It's pretty rad. It plays the theme song. Now, that's dope right there, and that cover is definitely cooler. Yeah, the OG design, I think, is where it's at. Yeah, dude, but like, if she said it was 25, but the thing up front says it was... 42 or 49? 42, yeah. Well, Andrew, we found the 4K version of the Target one. Did you? But this is the Target exclusive, which I thought was going to be the same thing for the 4K and everything. But this, I guess, is the standard 4K one. That was at Best Buy. Get rid of that. I want 4K, but look, that's the better cover, though. Do those extra pixels really help you out? 
No, I know, but you know what I mean? Like, I wish they had a... Because guess what? I bet you're going to watch this on your shelf more than you're going to actually watch those movies. No, I know. Let's just be honest. No, I know, but I thought, you know, because the Target exclusive is only that. It's only the Blu-ray. They don't have a, a Target exclusive for the 4K anywhere. So... Uh, uh. All right, all right. Now we have to see what the difference is between prices because the lady, the people brought these out from the back. Target exclusive goes for... Come on, come on. $24.99. And let's see what the 4K one is. I know, I, I, like, the I like the cover to that one more. And like, it plays the music and everything, but this one has the 4K and the Blu-ray. I don't know. Let's see what the Blu-ray, the 4K one is. $59.99. That's like, what, double the price? Yeah. Well, just about, yeah. Well, guys, we just got out of Target. I couldn't pull the trigger on that Jurassic Park. I just couldn't do it. I already have them all on Blu-ray already, but the only one I would want to get is that Target exclusive one with that cool cover and that plays that music and stuff, but I just couldn't do it. The willpower is strong, my friend. Am I really? Yeah, but right now we're over here at Jersey Mike's. What kind of sandwich did you get, dude? The number six. The number six? The roast beef? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I got uh, the, the six inch turkey one. We're gonna down these and then keep on going. All right, everyone, we're back in the car now. And uh, before we head on over to our next destination, I had a box waiting for me at my front door. What's in the box? I don't know. Let's open this up and see. <laughs> All right, guys, let's open up this package and see. I think this is from Paramount here. Holy shit. Hold on, let me open this up right here. It's in a future oh video. Oh my God. Look at Jackass, the complete uh, movie and TV collection. We got all the Jackass movies and all the Jackass, you know, TV shows, you know, TV stuff and skits, which yeah, is dude. which is dope, dude. And uh, Bad Grandpa too. And Bad Grandpa and Grandpa Point Five, all that kind of stuff. Jack and the Jackass classic TV collection, oh. all sorts of shit in here. This is nuts. I had I, no idea that was coming out. Yeah. Wait, I don't know if this is the complete movie and TV collection. It's everything, pretty much. But it feels, it feels kind of light. I don't know if it's the complete series of Jackass like that was on MTV or not. I think it is. And the classic TV collection. Oh, it, but I don't think they released all the episodes. I could be wrong. Maybe someone... I, yeah, because I, I have a set that's like a black set that was put up at Paramount a long time ago. Was it all the episodes? I think it might have been. Oh, this, really? this, this, says, this one says all... It says seven movie collection, which includes Jackass the movie, Jackass number two, Jackass 2.5, Jackass 3... Jackass on Jackass 3.5, Bad Grandpa, Bad Grandpa 0.5, and then it says includes the Jackass TV collection, which is this. So I don't know if it's a complete uh, Jackass TV show. I don't, I don't think it is. That, I think that's why they use the word collection. Otherwise, collection, yeah. Otherwise, they would use series. Because I do remember when they first released it, like in, God, what was it, like 2000? Yeah. Or 2001? It was like volume one, volume two, and it was not yeah. complete seasons so i kind of bet you that's yeah. what they did here. but this is this is still cool if you don't have any of the movies already has all those all the movies in it and then whatever the, i'm not exactly sure what this one is but this is the, this has been put out by paramount and sent to me to you know put out and you know it tells you what you know, it tells it tells me on the back yeah which i just said yeah no but it tells you this is yeah that's the tv collection yeah the tv collection yeah but this is just was, this was sent to me from paramount to you know talk about promote for you guys on the video so for your fans that are fans of jackass this is out now but i don't think it's the complete TV show collection. That's the a different one that I have at home. But while we're here in the car, you know, and I just um, I just unboxed that. There's something else I have here. A that, Pollo Loco. That's for you. What? I have some stuff in here. It's for you. That's for you, sir. What? What? Dude, what? I think I already know what this is. What? No. What? Yep. Dude, that is okay. That is one of the fucking coolest things ever, man. Yep, to Andrew, float it. Dude. Yeah. Uh, what's your friend's name? Uh, my friend's name's Andrew. Andrew, We're okay. taking off to Portugal. Well, Luna, we're in Dark Delicacies right now, and uh, Thomasy and Nicholas is signing my balls. Yeah. Isn't that kind of weird? Yeah, he has both my balls in his hand. Yeah, well, you know, you get a nice pair of balls here. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thomasy and Nicholas, boy. That... I'm a, I grew up loving baseball, mm -hmm. and I loved... You, know, you have the Dodgers hat on. Yeah. yeah. And then this is probably one of my top three favorite baseball movies of all time. That and the Sandlot and stuff, yeah. Oh, dude, Sandlot's great, but like, oh, dude, this is so great. Brickma is one of my favorite characters. Like, mm -hmm. you remember Brickma? Yeah. Yeah, dude. This is dude, This is awesome. Thanks so much, man. Well, there's also one more thing in there, dude. What? Dude, this is, this is insane. I'm pretty pumped about <laughs> yeah. that. I don't know. I, I was holding on to that for a while. Ever since I saw Thomas... 
uh, at this uh, thing with Luna months ago. Since you have the oh, baseball, shit. you have to have a thing to put it in. Dude, yeah. that is legit, man. That's Thank what I'm you talking so about. fucking much. Yeah, dude. Dude, this is going on my desk for sure. Yeah, dude, so you don't have to like think about where you're going to put it. Yeah. Now you know where you can. Dude. All right, we're out of the car and over here at Wally World. Let's head on in and see if they have any exclusives for Jurassic Park. Well, guys, in Walmart right now, taking a look at some of the new ones that they have. They still have the Black Panther on top, just like all the other stores and everything. But what's this thing? Limited two copies per customer? So if someone wants to come in here and buy three copies of Black Panther or Red Sparrow, they can't do it? Like, what? But the, this Red Sparrow is like the main one they have here in Game Night. Uh, it's another one that, like I said, came out today. And uh, I believe this one right here is, uh, isn't that a, a Clint Eastwood movie? Yeah, a Clint Eastwood movie. I got this one to, uh, sent to me to review, but I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. I'll probably talk about it in the next Hoarding Up video uh, or something. And then the other one that came out is, you know, I Killed Giants and uh, stuff like that. But I'm waiting. I'm waiting to get Ready Player One. Can't wait, man. I can't wait to see that one. And look, at they even they have the Deadpool slipcovers that we were looking for and everything. They have a Logan one. But all you see is like, you know, Deadpool's hand, you know, grabbing Logan on there and Deadpool on the back. That's pretty dope. And everything's all these different, uh, uh, all these different ones for like the X-Men. Uh, Deadpool slipcovers. I know these ones came out weeks ago, but this is like the first time I'm seeing them in person. This Edward Scissorhands one is pretty cool with uh, him on it. Predator. Uh, they had an, I thought they had an office space one, but... I think they do, but there's a couple sold out. Yeah, a couple sold out, but this one right here, bro. Nerds. Revenge I, of the Nerds. I think I might get that one. Yeah, that is cool. Him hold, holding up the pair of chonies. But some of them are like, what, between 788 and Five. 596? Yeah. Yeah, this, 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 this slip cover is okay, too, with the unicorn on it. All right, guys, we're at our next destination of the day. The local Toys R Us. You can probably see it in the background over there. But you know what? I had enough of you already. Sucker! Oh. Dude, are you thinking about getting that for real? The Ric Flair robe? Or the Macho Man robe. Circa like 1988. Yeah. That is cool. I didn't even know they sold those until I just saw them here with you. And they do have this little selection of movies over here. Everything's 50% off for DVDs and Blu-rays. And the only thing, two cool things I saw was Batman Forever and uh, Batman and Robin. Like I just remember, I know these movies are not like the greatest movies of all time. But like these covers, I just love them, man. And this one right here just makes me think of my friend Cody Blythe, bro. But like, I thought this movie, like back in the day when I first saw it, was was cool as shit. But like, I know it's not, I know it's not great. But like back then, I just thought it was fun. I'm like Arnold Schwarzenegger is Mr. Freeze. Dude. But like watching it then, you know, back in the, you know, now it's just kind of like, oh, I, I get it. Most of it's shot on sound, sta sound stages and shit. But this one, I, I like, I like the aesthetics of this one. Like yeah. the neon Gotham City. Some people shit on it. I yeah. think it's fun. No, I, I like, I like these ones. You know, for nostalgia value and stuff. But I know they're not the best, you know, Batman movies uh, by any means, but I love them. This one is rough. I still watch it when it's on TV, but this one I, I really yeah. actually enjoy a lot. Yeah, me too. And Andrew, dude, you were just pointing out something. Because this place has been going out, going out of business for months now. Yeah. But yet, they're still getting in new stuff. Yeah, and there's two things I'll show you that are kind of interesting. Like, so this, first of all, this this stuff just launched, I think, like a week or two ago. The yeah, out yeah, the Incredible 2 stuff. I heard merch was just coming out two weeks ago. So it's crazy that they're getting brand new merch. And it's 50% off. Like... Yeah. Why would they do that? So like you can go to Target and this stuff is it's full, price. full price. Yeah, or like a Disney store and all that stuff. Like why would they get new stuff if they're just trying to get everything out of the store? I don't know. Off at our last destination of the day, the big old Goodwill. Now we're in the massive DVD section that they have over here. DVDs, you know, and VHS and stuff. They have a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff is usually like stuff you see all the time everywhere, you know, at Goodwills and things. But once in a while, they get like seasons of shows like South Park, which I believe season 21 is going to be coming out of South Park on, on Blu-ray soon. It's just really crazy that the movie's been out. I mean, the, the show's been out for 21 years. South Park. Yeah, and we were kids when that came out. Ooh. Brown Sugar. Here are two classic films from my childhood growing up. Summer School, right here is a movie I always loved. I have the DVD of this already. And bam, Adventures in Babysitting. I have the Blu-ray of this at home. But if you guys have never seen any of these two movies, what are you guys doing? Get out there, check them out. And Aaron Drew, speaking of Jackass that we were talking about in the car earlier, this is a Jackass related movie yeah. with Bam Margera and uh, of course, Ryan, the late Ryan Dunn. Ryan Dunn. This is a movie that you, I think it used to be a, blo a blockbuster exclusive uh, when it first came out. Did Bam direct it? Remember he was directing movies like he did Haggard? Uh, no, he didn't direct that one, but he did He did one or two. Haggard, I remember. Haggard, yeah. Well, this is one of those ones not, not that many people uh, 
talk about, yeah. All right, guys, we'll come down to towards the end of this video right now. Not the end, because I still am going to have the review portion in just a moment, but we're here to show you guys uh, what we picked up today. What did you, well, I only got this one thing after, I'll go first. Bam, Predator on Blu-ray with a Deadpool slipcover on it. I just had to get up on it for $5.96. I'm like, I want to get at least one of the Deadpool ones. The main one I wanted to get if they had it was the Office Space one, but eh, I'll go with Predator. What did you get? So I had to do the same thing because it, it was, the cover was just too good. So I got the Predator Deadpool as well. Oh yeah? I guess with the Super Soaker and just, this to me was like, at least the ones that we saw was the best balance of like the classic artwork with yeah. the new Deadpool. And then I uh, also had to get uh, Speed because I don't own it actually. Yeah. Not the greatest cover actually, I think it kind of sucks ass, but whatever. Yeah, the cover, yeah. I more or less got it because I love Speed and it was only five bucks on Blu-ray. Yeah, mine as well. And then this one is kind of funny. Bam. Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, so. Yeah, that is cool. It was fun hanging out with you. Hopefully you don't get abducted by aliens again. Okay, yeah. Or anything, or just, you know, run off and try to hide. Because if you do that again, bro, you don't know me. I'm, I'm a thug, man. Bat! Oh. I'm a thug, son. Bat! Oh. Bat! You don't know me. What? No, what? Why you don't know me? But guys, let's head on home for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Yeah! Uh oh. All right, guys, now on to my review portion of this video here. It was really cool hanging out with Andrew again for the first time in a while, going hoarding up, messing around town. But I got a handful of things here to talk to you guys about today. Uh, the first couple up here are from Warner Brothers. I got sent to review for free, and that is the new 4K of one of the best action movies ever made, and that is The Matrix uh, making its 4K uh, debut right here. Of course, this is the, the science fiction film, action film that was directed by the Wachowski brothers uh, back in the late 90s. And when this movie came out, just the special effects and the action sequences that they had in here blew me away along with millions of other people. And uh, watching it on 4K was actually really good. I think Warner Brothers really knocked it out of the park when it comes to the transfer uh, on this one. I thought like some of the special effects would have looked at, look looked super dated, you know, watching on, on, on even higher resolution. I mean, it's, it's kind of sort of does, but not, not too bad, uh, you know, in my opinion here. But on this Blu-ray right here, you get all the same uh, special features that you got on uh, previous editions of The Matrix, but you got some new uh, special features on here that's included only on the 4K disc itself, which is an introduction uh, by the Wachowski brothers and multiple commentary tracks, some by the cast and crew, uh, the composer, and, you know, like, critics and stuff like that on the 4K disc itself, along with other stuff on the Blu-ray disc, which is amazing. But if you're a fan of the, uh, you know, the Matrix film starring Keanu Reeves, you know, definitely, it's a definite upgrade for me on Blu-ray. You know what I mean? Watching, you know, uh, you know Morpheus, you know, uh, teach Neo what the Matrix is really about and how he's the one and has to chase the white rabbit. And if you open this up a little bit, you get to see the white rabbit on the case. I think that's, you know, pretty cool uh, on there. But if you're a fan of The Matrix, it's a definite upgrade to the 4K format. And uh, next up over here, over here too, is from Warner Brothers. And it's a new film that came out today starring uh, Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams. And that is uh, Game Night uh, here on Blu-ray, DVD, uh, digital copy combo pack. And it's about this, these, uh, this couple uh, that meet each other, you know, at a bar during like a game night and stuff. Uh, you know, played by these two guys. And they're just like really competitive about, you know, playing games like, you know, beer pong or, you know, just any games in general when it comes to, like, you know, bringing people over to their house and, you know, playing charades. They're, like, really competitive, you know, about this stuff and hate to lose. And, all, and you know, they, they, they're always all about winning, and that's just what their lives pretty much are. And they're kind of um, having a trouble having a baby and different things like that, but they don't really care. They just want, they just want to have the next game night. And uh, one night... Uh, one of uh, Jason Bateman's brother comes over that he hasn't seen in a long time. That's kind of estranged from him. Uh, comes into town and says, "Hey, let's have game night over at my house." And but we're gonna have a, we're gonna play a little bit of a different game. We're gonna have a mystery game going on uh, in the in the uh, mystery go on. And uh, you know, they're one of those games like someone's gonna go missing in the night, and then they, everyone's still gonna have to try to find that person. But then it, the movie takes a little weird turn. Um, I thought it had some decent humor. Uh, in this movie, but it doesn't really, to me, have a lot of high rewatch value. You know what I mean? It was, it was a fun one-time watch, but I don't really see myself, you know, having to go, damn, I need to watch this one again. You know what I mean? It was, it was kind of dark, and it, had, it kind of mixed the comedy with the dark, you know, the darkness elements pretty well, but, and the acting was pretty decent in here, but 
I don't know. Like, I, it felt like it could have been, uh, it's, I don't know, a little bit cooler, in my opinion. For I don't know. I just didn't. It kind of felt like I was watching the movie The Game, you know, with uh, Michael Douglas a little bit, but with, you know, a couple and, and their friends, you know, playing games and them getting caught up in some crazy stuff. But, like, all in all, it was a decent watch. I just don't see myself rewatching it all the time. And uh, next up over here is from the Warner Archive Collection. Really happy to find out that these were, these ones were coming out on DVD because they released uh, seasons one and two uh, in a pack a long time ago out in stores. And these ones now are finally coming out only burn on demand uh, through the Warner Archive. And that is uh, Perfect Strangers, season three, and season four here on DVD. This is the same company that put out, you know, like all the seasons of Family Matters and, and things like that. And this is a really cool show. This is, this is actually the show... Uh, that uh, that spun off to, to to Family Matters, and season three of uh, Perfect Strangers is actually uh, the first appearance of Harriet Winslow, uh, you know, from the Family Matters, playing her her character. Because uh, in the, in this show, um, it's about these two cousins. Uh, you know, one's from out, you know, one's from way out of state, and one lives in Chicago. And uh, you know, he's trying to learn learn the ways of you know. Uh, you know, out out here in like you know in this area and stuff. He's like from from Bartokamus. No, his name is Balky Bartokamus from. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot exactly uh, his state of origin in the show and everything. But like, um, it's just about them and the crazy antics that they get into and how in season three uh, they both start working at a newspaper in Chicago. And uh, Harriet, the lady that uh, Harriet Winslow from the Winslows. Uh, plays like a, per a lady that works at the elevator, bringing the elevator up and down, and just like you know, getting into the antics, you know, in in the show. And uh, after I think after season three or four, uh, she got her own show, which was Family Matters with uh, Reginald Bell Johnson, which I thought was really cool. But if you guys want to get seasons t uh, three and four out now on DVD, check out Amazon or the Warner Archive Collection. You get all the full episodes on the three discs e a piece for each season here, which I think is just really cool. And I've always been a fan of uh, Branch and Pin Show. You know, ever since this show and of course uh, his um, his appearance in Beverly Hills uh, Cop Three. You know, selling those big guns uh, to Eddie Murphy and stuff. I, I've always liked liked him as an actor. And uh, next up over here from Disney, I was uh, lucky enough to get a copy the anniversary anniversary edition. And I think it's the 65th anniversary, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken. And that is of Peter Pan uh, here on Blu-ray. This is the second time uh, this film has been uh, on Blu-ray. And uh, this is, the, of course, the anniversary edition with that new, you know, logo stuff in and around it. You know, like what's called Watch Anywhere. I don't know if I really care for, like, you know, these little, like, extra things that they're adding on to the slipcovers these days. I have the previous edition of this on Blu-ray, which is cool, because this edition has all the same special features as that one, and you get a handful of new special features on this one. It's the same picture quality and sound quality as the previous Blu-ray, but you get, like, what, three or four uh, new featurettes on, on this one, one of, one of which is a deleted song that wasn't in, the, that they filmed, and, you know, uh, they, they, they recorded for the original movie. Uh, what was it called again? Like, tick, it was like, uh, what was it called? Uh, you Can't Fly and Never Smile at a Crocodile or two of the two of deleted songs that they actually recorded but never made it into the final movie itself and everything. And they also have a, co a conversation in here by the, the voice actor that, uh, the voice actress that played Wendy, Wendy Darling. And of course, uh, I forgot his name now in the movie, but the little kid with the top hat. And the glasses, the, the two voice actors uh, in here talking about how it was working with Walt Disney and, uh, you know, being a part of a Disney classic. And, it, and I thought that feature was pretty cool. It was only like eight minutes long, but it was actually really enjoyable to watch. And uh, I believe this is also the first time you can get Peter Pan digitally. Like if you guys are the ones that get those digital codes and use them and stuff. Those are, I think it's the first time you can get the, that movie digitally. And last but not least over here, I got from Sony Home Entertainment. Uh, to talk to you guys about today, one of which I'm not the, the biggest fan of it, but I just kind of wanted to see it on, on 4K because I used to watch it with my dad, and that is uh, The Patriot here uh, on 4K. I was starring, of course, Mel Gibson, and I thought the transfer on this was uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, you get all the all the all these uh, special features on here. I believe all of which were on previous editions uh, of the film, like you know, uh, seven deleted scenes with commentary, audio commentary by the director and producer. Theatrical trailer, of course, all the making ofs, 
uh, on here, but the picture quality was, I would give this one like a 4 out of 5. I thought it looked pretty damn well, uh, pretty good on here, and of course you get the late great Heath Ledger uh, in this film right here, but another film uh, that Sony sent to me to, to, to talk about to you, to you guys was another catalog title, and it's not not as old as The Patriot, but uh, stars Brad Pitt, and that is a uh, Fury uh, here on 4K. Uh, you, you get all the original, uh, of course, special features on this one, like the 50 minute, uh, 50 minutes of over deleted scenes, uh, a new documentary on the film, a bunch, a bunch of stuff on here. So of course, it's you know uh, Brad Pitt war, war flick. I don't want to get into like the movie itself or anything, because I'll be here all day talking about these ones. But like, if you guys are uh, fans of these films, they're definitely upgrades. But to be honest, the only time I've ever seen Fury what was on DVD, and the same thing with this one. I don't think I ever got a, got or got around to buying or even seeing these ones on Blu-ray. I only remember seeing DVD uh, versions of them, but these are definite upgrades, at least from the DVD versions uh, that I've seen of these films. And uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys all know that these are out now uh, from Sony Home Entertainment and stores er now everywhere. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all for the next Hoarding Up video. Give this video a thumbs up, follow me on social media, and if you guys want to get a wet movie t-shirt, check out my T Public store. Link in the description. See you next time.